Good morning, everyone. I am Manisha Pundit Sajwan from PCA Department, IIMT College of Management. Today, I am here to give video lecture on how to install PS code using C programming. First, I would like to introduce C language, which was developed by Sir Dennis Ritchie in 1972. In 1989, Turbo C language was used, but in order of growth, some new updations were introduced as 1989 platform of C language, total keywords were 32. And after updation in 1999, five more keywords were added and total was 39. Again, in 2011, uh, five more keywords were added. Now, total keywords are 44. So first, we should know what is the use of VS Code? Why should we use Visual Studio Code? So Visual Studio Code is a free source code editor made by Microsoft for Windows, Linux, and Mac operating system. Features include support for debugging, syntax highlighting, intelligent code completion, etc. It currently supports hundreds of programming languages and file formats. Several common languages come supported by default JavaScript, HTML, CSS, etc. And other gain support by adding integrated extensions. If you, if you find a language that isn't supported by an existing extension, the open nature of the extension system means you can build one. So uh, first step is download Visual Studio Code for which you will type VS Code on your browser. Which browser you are using, you will uh, type Visual Studio Code, VS Code, uh, like I am using Google Chrome. So I will type VS Code on Google Chrome. Uh, now you can see uh, uh, some links here and you will click on the first link. After clicking on the first link, you will see this window in which you can see uh, Windows 7, 8, 10, Mac, which operating system you are using, you will install or download uh, Visual Studio Code for that operating system. As I'm using Windows operating system, so I will click on Windows view button. Uh, after clicking on this button, uh, you can see this window. Uh, this is a step two to install uh, Visual Studio Code. In this uh, step, it is very easy step you have to just accept the agreement and click on next. In step three, you will download extensions for Visual Studio Code. You can see uh, here uh, I have made an arrow. You will click on this and which extension you want to install for Visual Studio Code, you can uh, do it from here. Once you have installed Visual Studio Code, now it's time to install some extensions. Click on the button where red arrow is pointing in above image. You can see here. Uh, you, uh, you can see list of extensions. Now click on C or C++ extensions. As you can see in below image. Now install the extensions. When you will install the extension, you can see this window. If you, if you have installed uh, your extensions, like uh, I am installing for C and C++, you can see uh, here, blue button of uninstall. If I want to uninstall this extension, because I have already installed C or C++ extension. Next step is now we have to install another ex extension that is Code Runner. Now we have successfully installed code, uh, code editor, but we need a compiler to uh, compile and output our code. For that, we have to install MinGW. And it is very important process. It is a step four in which we will download MinGW. For that, again, which browser you are using, uh, on that browser, you will type MinGW. As I'm using Google Chrome, uh, I typed MinGW. Now you can see MinGW, uh, GNU for Windows download. 
Now click on download. You can see image here. Now uh, it is a step five in which we will install MinGW. You just open the installer. You should see something like the below image. Click on install and choose your directory where the software should be installed and click continue. Now you will see this window in which uh, installation process is going on. When it will complete, you can see this window. After installing, click on continue and right click on every checkbox. Choose mark for installation. After checking all checkboxes, you should see something like image below. Now click installation on top left corner and then choose apply changes. You should see something like shown in the image below. And then click on apply. Once you complete the installation, you should see something like the image below. Now, uh, it is a very important process. Uh, you have to copy bin path. Without doing this, our code will not run. So, how to copy our path? Now, open this PC and open local disk C. You should see MinGW file and click on bin folder. Now you will copy this path. In step seven, uh, we have to open environment variables. So for that, uh, open a control panel from your start menu and click on system. If you don't find system on your control panel, just type system on the search bar, which you can find in top right corner of the control panel. Click on advanced system settings. On right side, you should see system properties as shown in the image below. Now click on environment variables. You uh, should see something as shown in the image below. Now click on the path in system variables and click on edit as shown in the image below. Now click on new and paste the bin path that we have copied in the previous step and then click OK. Uh, step 8, let's check if MinGW has been successfully installed or not. Click on search button near the bottom left of Windows and search for command prompt. You will see this window. In this step, now we are checking our program is running or not. So let's write our first program in C. Uh, open Visual Studio Code and click on File in upper left section and choose Open Folder. Let's make a new folder in Desktop and select the folder. As uh, I created C program 1 in my Desktop, you can see here. It is my first program, test1.c, and I typed some code here. Now we will see our code is running or not. Uh, now we are trying to run our code. Uh, right click and click on run, or just you can press shortcut key, control alt, and N. You can run your code. Now you can see the output of the program. Thanking you.